The 12-year-old drowning victim's name is Nicole Suriel. Her body was pulled from the water an hour and 20 minutes after she drifted into harm's way. Nicole was with a group of sixth grade students from Manhattan on a field trip. They attended Columbia Secondary School. That's on West 123rd Street in Harlem. And tonight, a lot of tough questions for school administrators about exactly how this could have happened on a chaperone trip. There were three teachers meant to be watching over the group of kids. Where were they? Did they know no lifeguards were on duty? How did 12-year-old Nicole wind up swimming in an area that was considered dangerously off limits. A large group of camp or school kids came and they just all went into the water all at once, no organization. They were playing by the jetties and um, she floated out and a bunch of them came running in saying, she's drowning, she's drowning. One teacher tried to help, but had to be rescued herself from the treacherous water. Locals will tell you part of the reason for those no swimming signs is because the currents out here are notoriously dangerous. The incident happened around noon. We got a call for a swimmer in distress. We were told that a, uh, a female was missing in the water. The fire department and lifeguards immediately entered the water and did a search, and unfortunately, she wasn't located till approximately an hour and 20 minutes uh, after she was missing. He is responsible for this child's death, nobody else. He sent a, a teacher, a lone teacher out there with two interns, a first-year teacher, to supervise I don't know how many kids. He is responsible, the principal. This afternoon, parents who took their kids to the beach were horrified by what happened. This woman said she'd never let her kids out of her sight at the beach. The water does seem kind of calm, but how calm could it be with no lifeguards? Think about it. It's scary. It's very scary.